It's better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. And that couldn't be more true than with some of our favorite TV shows that ended this year. We're looking back and giving a fond farewell to nine amazing shows that ended in 2017 right here on Listed. There's nothing harder than saying goodbye, except when saying goodbye to your favorite binge-worthy TV show. So as bittersweet as it is, let's look back at the TV shows we loved and lost this year. Starting with Pretty Little Liars. PLL fans were simultaneously dying to know the true identity of Uber A, while also praying the show would never end, but alas, the finale aired on June 27th, and in case you're wondering, no, we're still not over it. After seven years of drama, murder, and way too many hookups to count, the liar said goodbye. But it sounds like Marlene King heard our cries for more because earlier this year it was announced that we're officially getting a PLL spin-off called The Perfectionist, starring PLL alum Sasha Batirsa and Janelle Parrish. Now that's a happy ending I can get behind. Next on our list is the fan favorite TV show, The Vampire Diaries. Let's face it, we knew once Nina Dobrev announced she was leaving the show in 2015 that it wouldn't last too long after. She was, after all, one of the three main characters of the whole series and the center of so much drama and conflict. So we weren't too surprised that the eighth season was announced as its last, but we were surprised to see that Nina came back for the March 10th finale. And what a perfect finale it was. Hashtag RIP everyone. Next up, MTV's Teen Wolf is a show that we'll cherish forever. There are so many reasons to be grateful for Teen Wolf, including that it introduced us to Tyler Posey and Dylan O'Brien. The show ended on an emotional and epic note, as we got to see almost every character return to Beacon Hills for one last showdown. I won't spoil the ending for those of you who still need to binge watch this one, but let's just say it was really hard to say goodbye to this one. One hit CW show that just lost its momentum and was canceled after four seasons was the historical fiction romance Rain. The series followed Mary, Queen of Scots, and her early life. The show had all the ingredients of a sexy series we love, drama, romance, scandal, and beautiful gowns, but for whatever reason it just didn't get the views and needed to continue. And the final episode aired on June 16th. Next on our list is a show that made Dove Cameron a star, Disney Channel's Live and Maddie. The fourth and final season of Live and Maddie was called Live and Maddie Cali style. It was a sweet way for the writers to acknowledge that, although the show was coming to an end, there were still plenty of adventures left. The show aired for the last time on March 24th, but luckily Dove has plenty of projects in the works, so we have plenty to look forward to. Next up, the freeform show Baby Daddy was canceled this year, and fans of the show were shook. Baby Daddy was not only one of the best comedies on Freeform, but it's also still to this day the network's longest running and highest rated comedy. So why, oh why, did it have to end on May 22nd? We may never know, but we'll always be thankful for all the laughs it gave us. Next up, Switch at Birth is another show that felt like it ended all too soon. After years of watching the Vazquez and Kenish families embrace their differences while celebrating their similarities, we are still having a hard time accepting that it's all over. The show has been praised for bringing the deaf community into light and hiring deaf and hard of hearing actors, which is why we were so devastated when we learned that its fifth season would be its last. The show ended on April 11th, but here's to hoping it will inspire similar shows that will follow suit in hiring actors with disabilities because it's 2017 and it's time that became the norm. The next show on our list is one that we are still in denial over having to say goodbye to, Disney Channel's Girl Meets World. When we first found out the third season of Girl Meets World would be its last, we were not only sad, we were actually mad. The Boy Meets World reboot was such a crucial and groundbreaking show for the channel, and the decision to cancel its last minute was heartbreaking. Although the show aired for the last time on Disney Channel in January, fans have been begging streaming services like Netflix and Hulu to buy the rights and revive it. So far, none of bit, but that won't stop us from trying until we see Rowan Blanchard and Sabrina Carpenter revive their roles as BFFs. Last but not least on our show, MTV Sweet Vicious was canceled after just one season, and for a show this relevant, all we have to say is it ain't right. If you didn't catch it while it aired, Sweet Vicious was a daring new show that followed two female students who became vigilantes at night, seeking revenge on campus rapists. Obviously, fans loved the female empowering content and how it brought the topic of campus rape into a new light. Although it didn't have a large viewing audience, the show did have fiercely loyal fans, like us, who were so disappointed to see that MTV opted out of a second season. Here's to hoping somewhere like Hulu or Netflix catches on and brings this one back too. Alright you guys, that's our list. So now I want to know which one of these shows broke your heart when it went off air, and which ones are you ready to go back and watch for the first time, or rewatch from the beginning after seeing this list? Let me know in the comments below, and then after that, 
click right over here to check out seven TV shows whose former cast members return for the finale. Thanks so much for watching Listed. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more Clever. I'm your host, Renee Ariel, and I'll see you next time.